Hi, um, so in this example we are told that uh, f of x and g of x have a, have period, a period p um, which is this one right here. Uh, we have to show that um, h of x which is equals to a multiplied by f of x plus b multiplied by g of x um, it has a period p. So we have to show that h of x, which is this right here, has a period p, okay, where a and b are real constants, okay. So now this is very simple and straightforward. If you have observed, okay, so this is a solution right here. You have observed you have been taught to say uh, your f of x, okay, uh, and your g of x both have period p, okay this right here is your period then uh, you are able to you are able to observe to say uh, f of x okay f of x having a period p and and g of x having a period p it's more like you can say your f of x plus p is the same as you saying um, f of uh, why am I saying t but f of x okay same as f of x like that and this is for all values of x okay and similarly you can you can you can look at g of x okay so g of x plus p if p is a period this will be the same as the g of x like that so this being true okay this being true actually simplifies everything if this right here is true and we have been told it's true which simplifies our work it simply means i can actually say h uh, of x plus some period p is the same as a which is of which a is a constant we are not worried about that then you're going to say f of x plus p plus b then we have g of x plus p this okay does not change anything it still ends up it still ends up giving us what uh, h of x okay this this consideration here, this analysis here being true, hence concludes that um, h of x has period, okay, has period p, where uh, a and b are constants, okay, these two are constants. So that's basically how we do it, simple as that. That's all in this video, thank you very much for watching.